right now at 4.30, we continue our coverage now of the measles cases in Chicago. The Chicago Department of Public Health confirms two cases, including one in a child in a shelter for new arrivals in Pilsen. Now, overall, Illinois had f just five cases of the measles last year. Health and wellness reporter Lauren Petty is now joining us with much more on this. Lauren, we don't see it that often, so it's good to explain it. It has been so long since measles has been an issue that people we know were literally searching online asking what measles is. So we wanted to help give some context. Measles is concerning because it is highly contagious, spread through skin to skin contact and also through the air. It's as contagious as COVID. It actually may be more contagious because it can say if a person is in a room or a bus or something like that, viral particles can be found two days later. There used to be millions of cases of measles every year in the U.S. Then it was in 1963 that a live vaccine was developed. This is a two-dose vaccine called MMR, which protects against measles, mumps, and rubella. Now, the first dose is given around 12 to 15 months of age. The second dose at age four through six. With those two doses, it's considered 97% effective. So even with these cases identified in Chicago, those who are fully vaccinated should be considered low risk. Folks who should be concerned about the measles outbreak are those who have never been vaccinated, those folks who are living in situations where they're in a cluster or are close communication with other folks, um, those who are um, behind or don't know their vaccination status. Now, Dr. Vicencio and Near North Health, they have vaccinated nearly 300 new arrivals to Chicago. Some of them, those who are either unsure or don't have documentation of their immunization. So if you are unsure, doctors say it's simply best to get vaccinated. Another dose won't hurt you. It can only protect you. I talked about the vaccine. It often happens uh, when we were as children, we're vaccinated as kids. So is there a booster shot as time goes on that maybe older people need? Well, doctors say no, you don't need a booster shot because it does offer lifelong immunity. However, if you are considered immunocompromised, um, if you are going through cancer treatment, something like that, or if you are in a high risk situation, then you want to ask your doctor, then you want to talk to them, ask about a potential booster, because again, another shot won't hurt you, but you can also get an antibody test to check as well. All right, good to check. Lauren, thanks so much. Thank you.